It's uh, Vaughan Williams' Pilgrim's Progress, which takes its title from uh, Bunyan's book, The Pilgrim's Progress. But it's a lot more concise and is slightly less religious. Uh, Vaughan Williams himself took um, the main character and changed his name from Christian to Pilgrim. So I thought, hmm, well perhaps that gives us an, uh, uh, an entryway into something that's relevant today, something that's perhaps wouldn't put people off because I think sometimes you think, oh, it's religious, it's hymn tunes, it will put people off. But when I, look, when I looked at it, I thought, this is a universal story about a man's search or a person's search for something. He doesn't know what, a meaning, uh, and a journey, his journey through life, how he's going to get uh, on this journey through life. Well, the wonderful thing uh, as a student show, it's uh, there are so many roles. So you've got so many small character roles, so it gives students a chance to really work on text, character and interacting with each other. Um, there are one or two larger roles, like Pilgrim for example, and uh, he, that means that that student will have the, the opportunity to work all the way through the whole arc of the character. Almost all the students got a small role, so it means that everybody has the chance to uh, actually develop a, a character, even if it's a, a little short scene, but they can develop the character, and if it's a small character in a chorus scene, they can extend that to the chorus scene. So actually it's full of life and uh, students interacting with each other, which is you know, a huge part of stagecraft. Well, there are 40, 41 named roles and 41 in the chorus. Some of those are, are doubled up, but there's a huge number of people. And it's fantastic to come into a room and see every enthusiastic and waiting to go and get started and, you know, really trying hard and giving everything they've got. But you've also got, uh, you know, tremendous characters with it and you've got the wonderful music and the wonderful, uh, the wonderful chorus work, which uh, is, uh, you know, one of the fantastic things that we're working with the students on and such an opportunity for them. So I would say come because the, the story is, is fascinating. Uh, I think the way we've presented it is, is really interesting uh, because it gives it a much more contemporary slant, something that we have access to. Uh, it's not something that feels terribly alien. Uh, and certainly most people, well certainly people my age, will have grandparents who fought in the First War. And so their childhoods, mine included, were spent hearing about stories of the First War. So uh, it doesn't feel such a, a distant thing, it feels actually quite contemporary.